achieving my undergraduate degree kind of didn't feel fulfilled. The reason why I say that, because, you know, I went into WSU as a communication broadcasting major. And yeah. um, after I transferred, I wasn't able to, you know, be in communication. So they ended up switching me just to be eligible in terms of credits to general studies. And for yeah. general studies, people that don't know, that's just a combination of everything. You know, even having that degree, but that mm -hmm. one in specific wouldn't get me, you know, anywhere in life. So I got my mind made up like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and get my master's degree in my last year of playing football. You know, yeah. I ended up finishing that, man. That was definitely, you know, one of the best feelings, you know, I've ever had, man. It was for me, but most importantly, man, it, it was for my mom. It kind of, you know, showed, you know, my appreciation towards her. What's up, y'all? It's OTS Lee here. We got another special guest for 21 Questions with OTS Lee. This is our second guest, DJ Thompson. We appreciate having you on this and spending some time with us. Hey, yes, indeed, man. First and foremost, I'm glad I'm on the on, on the show, the OTS Lee, yeah. different type of type of things. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah. you know, I'm I'm DJ, real name Dewan Thompson, man. But I, I'm I'm happy to be on your show, one of your guests. Question number one. Who is DJ and how would you best describe yourself to someone who doesn't know you? All right. So, man, DJ, man, I'm I'm a person who's always, for the most part, positive. You know, yeah. I, I look at things and, you know, I try not to look at the negative, th negative side of things. So, man, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a positive person, always happy. You know, I'm human, but, you know, I get mad. I'm, that's, that's every human. But, man, you know, mm -hmm. my whole life has been positive for the most part. You know, I've had some things. You know, which I will describe earlier, you know, early, yeah, yeah. but I've had some things that I could have been on the other side of things. So I'm just happy that I'm in a position I am now. We'll get into question number two. Who and what shaped you to be the individual you are today? Oh, man, that's an easy question, man. Uh, of course, my <laughs> mom. Yeah. My, yeah. You know, being raised by a single mother, yeah. you know, that she has she's raised me to be, good, you know, be a great man, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's kind of yeah. hard. That's a hard that's a hard thing for a single mother mother to do. And so um, you know, I I, I thank my mom for everything she's done, man. And that's, you know, the the steps that I'm doing in my life, I I definitely do it for her. You know, of course it's for yeah. me as well, but at the end of the day, I'm trying to make her life and I'm I've always done and make her life kind of positive and stuff like that too. Single mother household, like my mom, just like yours, would do anything, anything mm -hmm. to make our lives easier, make it better. And um if yeah, I yeah. give her the world, I will give her the world, but I'm going to always try every day, like you said. Question number three, growing up, what career did you aspire to be in? Oh, man. Low-key, I've always wanted to, you know, become a, a broadcaster. So kind of like the Stephen A. Yeah. Smith, Stuart Scott uh, type of things. I just yeah. remember, what you know, being up late watching Sports Center at night and just watching the highlights and watching how they talk. You know, I'm a sports guy, man. I I remember stats like it's nothing, which is crazy. Yeah. And um, I I've always wanted to be a broadcaster. You know, it didn't happen. You know, life mm -hmm. ended up taking me somewhere else. But man, I, that was growing up. I've always wanted to become a a Stephen A. Smith, Stuart Scott type yeah. of person. So. Okay, okay, that's funny because I mean I, I didn't have that for for a long time, but I would say for me. Uh, I'm going to Washington State and being in the communication class. Like, I'm like, dang, I really would be interested in being like, you know, some type of analyst or whatever it may be. Yeah. But uh, So we'll, we'll get into question number four. How was the game of football introduced to you? Oh, man. The, I, we talked about this in my first podcast, you know, first yeah, ever yeah. episode. And it's, uh, man, Jericho, dog, Jericho. Yeah. He introduced me, you know, introduced football to me and my mom. You know, by convincing her to hey, let's let's let him play, see what he, <laughs> see what he looks like. My mom was uh, like, nah, it's not happening. And uh, you know, as I said earlier, you know, he went to her job, and so um, you know, I guess that was the tipping 
tipping point of her yeah. like actually agreeing to you know let me play football so like like I, like i said man thank you jerico again but uh <laughs> man, yeah that that was the game was introduced you know by Jerico to me. I'm familiar with Coach Jerico. Yeah, he 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 a very adamant guy. So I could yeah. I could imagine him going to your mom job. Like, hey, yeah, we got we got like, hey, <laughs> oh, just know yeah, just know who he is, especially as a grown person. Like Hell yeah. yeah. We'll go on to question number five. You played QB your first two years of high school. Given your size, which QB did you look up to during that time? First and foremost, I think Drew Brees at the time was someone that I kind of looked at, you know, short yeah. quarterback, even though he was six foot. And then um, after Drew Brees, it was Russell Wilson at, um, I believe, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, okay, if he, if he can do it at 5'10", and all right, let's see, let's see what, you know, what can happen. And at the time yeah. I was in ninth grade, yeah, I never did grow, you know, but uh, <laughs> so I, I ended up switching yeah. positions, you feel me? But yeah. Uh, I would say those two, Drew Brees and, you know, Russell Wilson was the, the two quarterbacks that I looked up to. For the people who don't know how tall you are, <laughs> let, let, let them know, man. Hey, you know, hey, you know what? <laughs> hey, in my work boots, motherfucker, I'm 5'8". So <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, okay, so 5'8". <laughs> that's your hey, answer, man, you know for your old, old, old DJ. We'll get into question number six. Did you have a dream university to play for coming out of high school? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think my dream university was for sure, you know, top two, USC, Oregon. You know, just yeah. simply being from L.A., you know, the inner cities of L.A., I think USC was my number one. And then Oregon, just for the simple fact that, you know, they their uniforms was mm -hmm. fucking amazing. And the, the yeah. headquarters in Nike was in Oregon. So, you right. know, just, just those two, those two schools, man. But number yeah. one, USC, being from L.A., watching Reggie Bush, and uh, yeah. you know that was that was definitely my dream school, man, right there. Just like you, yeah, I wish I could have suited up with that car that was uh, dope. But man. we'll get into question number seven. Why did you choose to attend WSU? Oh man, the reason why I chose WSU, um, for one, that was the only school that was, you know, willing to give me a shot, even as a walk on. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so WSU, I went there um, for orientation. You know, I'm like, oh man, this I, I feel at home. I don't even feel homesick. So I think that played a big part, uh, you know, into me going and going to WSU instead mm -hmm. of like going to a junior college or walking on at another school. But uh yeah, WSU, man, that's that's it's family over there, Pullman. I love Pullman. So yeah. um, you know, WSU, they gave me a shot though. They gave me a shot, and I'm you know, totally grateful for them for giving me a shot, even as a walk-on, you know. So you know, yeah. I want to thank WSU for that, man. Thank, thank Coach Dennis, who's at USC right now. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and thank him, man, because um, man, that school was the only one to believe in me. So they just lost that C knowing. I don't know. They, they <laughs> said they said the uh, head ref was from. He was a graduate of USC, and they I had know. some suspicious calls out there. Man, so. that's wild yeah. that they let yeah. that shit happen. All right. So speaking about Pullman, we'll get into question number eight. Mm -hmm. What are some of your favorite memories during your time at Pullman? Oh man, my favorite favorite memories, man, is you know definitely rooming rooming with you, Wayne and Jackie Bo. You mm -hmm. know that I think I value that more than actually playing, you know, for WSU. Because at the end of the day, you know, having you guys as, as my roommates, I think that's a, a lifetime friendship. So I think yeah. us, you know, laughing, going to parties, being drunk, you know, what yeah. I'm saying being on the toilet throwing up. <laughs> I think those are some of like my favorite memories, and I really cherish those because it's like. Man, you you don't get that anywhere else. And so uh yeah. definitely having you guys as my roommates, man. All the memories we had, those are my favorite memories. I love those more than you know the football memories at WSU. I always tell people, um, you know, who ask me about it, oh, how was your time in college? And then like if we're speaking on WSU, like it was the greatest time of my life. If I could do it over a thousand times, I would. And, yep. and how you mentioned, like just yeah. having the roommates, um, the guys we met who were from Washington, like yep. it was just like, it was like a close knit family almost just having people, you know, as if you were going to mm -hmm. see your cousin down the street or something. Yep. So, Hell yeah, yeah, so Pull Pullman definitely was a special place. And I think it made it even more special that, that it was in the middle of nowhere. All right, so we'll get into question number nine. How would you describe your three seasons at Lamar? Oh man, my three seasons as a Mar was a definitely a journey, right? And so my yeah. my first year, uh, I loved it, man. I, I got the playing time that you know I thought I deserved. Uh, mm -hmm. Started all 12, 12 or thirteen games, you know. Then after that, you know, my coaches got fired, 
And from that point on, the next year was probably one of the worst years I've had playing football. Like, I just didn't enjoy it. You know, I just I just yeah. came with a different mindset, man. Different mindset. This is my last year. I'm going to enjoy this year no matter what. Like, absolutely yeah. no matter what. And then I think having that, you know, that approach, I end up starting a few games. I played a lot more than I did the year before. Uh, the coach has seen how dedicated and how, you know, hardworking I was at that point in my life and in my career. And, uh, you know, it definitely paid off, man. It definitely paid off. We end up making the playoffs, and that was the first time ever in Lamar Uni uh, University history that oh, they wow. made the playoffs. And so, uh, man, I'm, I'm glad I'm a part of that history. You know, my, my three years at Lamar was definitely a journey, uh, a hard yeah. journey, but I'm so grateful for that because, you know, if it wasn't for me going to Lamar, I wouldn't have, you know, got my master's degree. So, you know, yeah. I, that Lamar University, man, hey, go cars, God damn it. Oh, yeah, and also, man, also, though, yeah. man, I, I met some some great-ass great ass friends at Lamar, dude. Like, I yeah. went to a wedding this past summer, and, you know, they're having that type of friendship, that type of bond with my roommates yeah. over there, you know, once again, that's that's one of my favorite memories as well, you know, because yeah. that, that bond, man, we still talk to this day. And so, um, you know, being being at Lamar, being in Beaumont, Texas, was yes, uh, was definitely different, though. Definitely <laughs> different. Yeah. But, uh, that shit, it, it was it was cool though, man. Uh, I didn't have the party life like I did at Washington State, mm -hmm. but uh, man, just just having you know the the solid people over there, solid friends that I have now to right. this day was um, I definitely appreciated Lamar for that one. Speaking of your degree, we'll get into question number eleven. What was mm -hmm. that feeling like achieving your undergraduate and graduate degree from Lamar University? Oh, yeah, man. But first off, achieving my undergraduate degree kind of didn't feel fulfilled. The reason why I say that, because, you know, I went into WSU as a communication broadcasting major. And yeah. um, after I transferred, I wasn't able to, you know, be in communication. So they ended up switching me just to be eligible in terms of credits to general studies. And for yeah. general studies, people that don't know, that's just a combination of everything, you know, even having that degree, you know, a bachelor's degree, but that mm -hmm. one in specific wouldn't get me, you know, anywhere in life. So yeah. I think it, it wasn't fulfilling, but once I got my mind made up, like, Hey, I'm going to go ahead and get my master's degree in my last year of playing football. You know, yeah. I ended up finishing that, man. That was definitely, you know, one of the best feelings, you know, I've ever had, man. It was for me, but most importantly, man, it, it was for my mom. It kind of, you know, showed, you know, my appreciation towards her. She, yeah. she's done a hell of a job, you know, and you know, moms love to brag, man. And so she, <laughs> she definitely has yeah. some, you know, <laughs> some reasons to brag because not a lot yeah. of, you know, young African American kids from the inner city of, uh, of LA has a graduate degree, and so uh, yeah. you know, I'm I'm proud that to say that I have a graduate degree, and uh, I'm proud that my mom can say that I have a, a graduate degree because that's all for yeah. her, man. So, you know, it was it was it was nice, man. It was a nice graduation, was nice, and uh, man, that's 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 a good feeling. I'm hoping that it can you know prolong my you know career in criminal justice, which I got my graduate degree in. I'm hoping it can actually take me places that I've never even imagined. Next question. Do you have a touchdown that you remember most during your career? Ah, uh, yeah. Hell yeah, man. Uh, definitely the game winning touchdown as you know, the, the buzzer sounds type of shit. Yeah. Um, you know, that, that game was one of my favorite games. One of my best games of my career. Uh, I believe mm -hmm. I ended up having like four for one fifty and two tubs. One, one of the tubs went, was like a 70 yard, 69 yard touchdown. And the other one, which was my favorite touchdown, yeah. I ended up going up. And, uh, man, I, I don't know how I caught that motherfucker, but shit. <laughs> hey, I jumped in the air and then ended up yeah, catching yeah. it for the game winner. And so, um, you know, we ended up winning that game. And uh, that was definitely one of my favorite touchdowns, man. It, I, like, yeah. the, the whole thought. And before that, I'm going to backtrack. Before that, that play, I ended up running a hitch route. We're in the red zone, hitch route. I drop it. I'm like, mm. fuck. And so yeah. this is this is fourth down, I believe, last play. And so I'm like, I want this shit in my fucking hands. Like I really want it. And then I shit, God, God, the energy and shit like that brought it towards yeah. me. And then I, I had I had one play to make it up, man. And I ended up making it up. Yeah. That was my favorite touchdown ever, man. Uh -huh. That was definitely uh good ass memories. Four for 150. Well, that's the numbers right there. Hey, on me. 
Yeah, I was trying to get on my fantasy this week. <laughs> Shit. Hey, that We'll get into question number 12, and this is about your podcast. Who would you most like to have as a guest on your podcast? Man, that's a hard-ass question, dog. Ah. Just like one person. It could be any celebrity, athlete, whoever, um, just even mm-hmm. former teammate, whoever. You could DM them right now and be like, hey, I need you on my podcast. Ah, this is hard, man. This is hard. Damn, I, I've never, I've never uh, yeah. thought about it. Cause yeah. like right, uh, so I'm I'm gonna split it up. I'm gonna split it up because I love talking about mm-hmm. sports to my podcast, and yeah. now I'm also getting into like the criminal justice side of things. Yeah. So for my sports podcast, I for sure would love to get the Pivot Podcast, man. You know why not? You know, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh me, that's the, my sports for podcast, sure. man. I would love to get them on the on the show. You know, Fred Taylor, Channing Crowdy, and Ryan Clark, man. Some those are some of the dudes. They have low-key made podcasting like hella interesting to watch you know it's coming from a former player's voice it's more than just football though it's more more life and that's why i think i uh, you know i would love to have them and then on a criminal justice side of things man i i I can pick a few uh man i van jones van jones is a an amazing you know african-american voice um talking about the criminal justice system uh stacy abrams uh, she's I think she's running. I don't know if she's running for governor in um, Georgia or not, but um, I would definitely love to have her. Actually, this this is my 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 number one. Uh-huh. And if my pops were to get out of prison, he would be yeah. my number one person in my uh, on the other side of things in terms of the criminal yeah. justice system because he's been serving about shit. I want to say 20, 21 years in the, in the in the system. So. You know, mm-hmm. if you were to ever get out, that would be my number one favorite guest ever. I watch the pivot a lot. In a sense, they almost inspired this, like just how it goes as far as like yeah, getting yeah. guests. And it's so funny, I swear to you, like two days ago, I'm like, I'm about to, no, when was it? Monday night? Uh, Monday night football. I know he was mm-hmm. on Monday night, like the post game. I'm off in the DM him and be like, hey, man, I need to get y'all on this segment, 21 questions <laughs> hey, I can ask. Yeah. All right, question number 13. For those who might have seen you, they might have seen you and never known, but... How in the world did you get on a Chevy commercial, man? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, this was the most random shit in the world. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I ended up uh, going to Costco, you know, getting me a chicken bake, you know, with a smoothie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm coming, I'm coming uh-huh. out, going into my car, end up having a, a Chevy Camaro that I just got, I want to say, yeah. a month ago, maybe a couple weeks ago. And then um, this lady, random lady, man, she ended up, you know, saying, hey, she has an iPad in her hand. Hey, I yeah. would love, you know, for you and your car to be in her scavenger hunt. And, um, you know, we'll pay you <laughs> gift $250 in gift cards. And I'm like, yeah. huh, well, shit, why not? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take two fifty dollars in gift cards, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I end, up, I, I end up going to the um the address that she ended up sending uh, a couple yeah. of days later. And, um, you know, I'm like, damn, where the hell am I at? Like, that, this shit uh-huh. is far. I'm like, oh, it's, it's a nice area, though. Know? And so, I, you know, I walk up. I see them, uh, the little staging area. Yeah. And uh, well, it wasn't a staging area. It was just you had to sign some papers. And I'm like, what the fuck am I signing? <laughs> Shit. So I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm like, what the fuck Signing you your life away. <laughs> and so they was yeah. like, yeah, a band's going to come pick you up and drop you off at the set. I'm like, yeah, I can't drive over there? <laughs> I can't drive it. Oh, I had to uh, uh, give him my keys to my car too. I'm like, oh, wow. hold on. Damn. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, fuck it. Let's just let's take a leap. Fuck it. Let's see. See what <laughs> yeah. happens. And so I'm sitting down, a little nervous, man, asking what the fuck did I just sign in my head. And so yeah. um the the van comes, the white van, look like I'm being kidnapped. But, oh um, goodness. I, <laughs> I ended up getting in a car. There was like two other people in the car with me. I'm like, oh. Fuck. But shit, fuck. Somebody got my location. We'll see how that shit uh-huh. goes. And so they end up uh, eventually they took me to the set. Um, it was a, a amazing neighborhood. My car was right there. And uh basically, man, I end up end up just saying I switched a couple other things, of course, like yeah. that. And uh man, that that's that's basically basically how it went down. And so uh, yeah. that was that was a big ass blessing because doing that commercial has kind of set me up into you know, buying a house. And so I'm, I'm yeah. I saved that money 
And um, I'm just waiting to the, the market crash. It's a little bit, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? It's kind of crazy right expensive now. Out here. So, uh, yeah. but no, that commercial, man, that commercial was a truly a blessing. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative of, you know, Chevy for giving me that opportunity. And God yeah. was looking out, man, because I, I needed that. I needed that all yeah. the way. So that's a crazy ass backstory. Well, I know you're an avid gamer and um, especially a 2K player. So question number 14, the world wants to know, man, what's your best 2K bill right now? If you have oh, one, man. you got one. Hey, I got I got two bills. I got the six yeah. nine. Everybody get building six nine players and shit like that. Yeah. So I got him. But uh, I, I primarily play on my six ten build. Who got contact dunks? Got an eighty plus three ball, eighty one ball yeah. handle. Yeah, that's that's my build. He more of like a Kevin Durant slash Giannis Antetokounmpo. So you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's six ten for sure. That's what I do. I play center too. So I'm for sure. Oh, okay. Hey. Yeah, I'm 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 getting rebounds with this nigga. Fuck fuck them other seven <laughs> two centers. So yeah, that, yeah, I got my six ten. My six ten dude. Well, you you man. got your squad, man. What you got a squad of five? Or are you playing with randoms? Yeah, I got I got a squad of five. So basically I joined Lamp, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Dope yeah. Slam Jr. So I'll be playing yeah. with him and his boys. And um uh, and also one of my other friends uh named B Dad, I would just oh, play yeah, yeah. me and him and then we'll get like three other randoms. But uh, yeah. primarily, I'll be playing. I play with those two, but I play with Lamp a lot. So, you know, that's okay. that's that. Speaking of the NBA, question number 15, who are your top five current NBA players? Now, I'm not going to make it hard on you, make it in order, but just five players five. right now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's, let, let's, let's start off with the GOAT. Goat James, you know what I'm saying? Oh, LeBron go, James. Yeah, GOAT. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? GOAT James. Let's, let's yeah. go LeBron. Let's go KD. Let's go Steph. Let's go Giannis. And then this is where it gets fishy. Not really. I'm going Let's with hear. Luka Doncic. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to pass up okay. uh, Nikola Jokovic, even though he's a two-time Kawhi. MVP. Yeah, yeah, Kawhi. Well, he hurt, so I ain't worried yeah. about Kawhi. Yeah, fuck uh, the figures, too. Yeah. But uh, uh, fuck it. Uh, Yo uh, Joker, man, I'm going to have to pass him up because, I mean, I, I like how he plays, man, but it, it's just... And he ain't my favorite player, you know. He's yeah. Not top no, five. He, yeah, that, he's I mean, top five, you know, but he ain't top five. Right. I, I could put like honorable mention or throw in like a five A five five B kind of thing. But yeah, yeah. Uh, that that that's a solid. That's a solid top five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, but but the ones you got are like the dominant guys for sure. Hell yeah. Question number sixteen: If you could visit three college football uh, stadiums, what stadiums would you want to visit? What three stadiums? Stadiums that I haven't been to. I, I would say that. Like, if you want to visit a particular stadium, you want to visit one when it's a rivalry, like whatever it may be. Just three that you. Okay. 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 Because I was gonna put the Apple Cup because that's fucking electric. Yeah, Be, yeah. Being in Pullman or just being in Seattle, that shit is crazy. Yeah. So that's yeah. let's let's put that to the side, but that's definitely one. But you said okay. uh, five or three? Three. Three? Okay, for yeah. sure. Ohio State, Mich Michigan. That's that's one of those robberies that's fucking crazy. Alabama, Auburn, uh, another another deep, deeply rooted yeah. robbery. Um, I'm trying to think of who who's the third one. Who's the third one? Uh let me see, Big Ten, Big Twelve. Oh. Texas, Oklahoma, easy. Oh I'm yeah, just having yeah. This weekend, yeah, yeah. Hey, cause UT, UT is they crazy. They put the whooping on them. Hey, they what? Put the whooping on them. Hey, even even like Austin, Texas itself, man. Yeah. It's, it's that's like a big town party town. Like yeah. it is dope as fuck. So definitely yeah. UT, uh, Oklahoma, Michigan uh -huh. State, Ohio State. And uh, Alabama, Auburn. We know, like, for over the time, except not this year with Texas, but um, mm -hmm. those games are usually, like, close games. Two years ago, Oklahoma came back down, I think, 20-plus yep. points or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, the Auburn, I think, of the play where the dude ran back to field goal return. Like, yep. even Cam Newton was there. Like, just all that stuff. So. Mm -hmm. But one stadium, though, that I would really fuck with, I really would love to go to Penn State. Like, I, oh, I think. Especially that a is, wide I, out. What? That, and yeah. I think that's the biggest stadium in college football. Yeah. And so, man, wide out. Oh, man, I that's what I would love to do that. Yeah, yeah. man, maybe down the road, you know, when I get some time. I... So you lived in Texas, as we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. What would you say better, in and out or Whataburger? Oh, man, it's uh, – okay. <laughs> okay, the variety <laughs> the variety of Whataburger is it's a lot better than in and out But yeah. the, the taste of the burger? Yeah. I don't know, the burger, ah, 
shit. Yeah, I guess we can just speak on the burger, like, because we know, yeah, like you said, variety, but like the hey. burger, what burger or combo is better? Oh, man, bro. Hey, no cap. I might have to go with a burger, bro. Oh, they, got, they, got some, hey, they got some crazy shit. It's like a sweet chili barbecue burger. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, that shit fire. It's like, and then you got a barbecue chicken on some Texas toast. Ooh, ah. Oh, hey, fire. So I gotta I gotta go to a burger, man. Hey, sorry. Okay, man. okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. So hey, in and out, cool, man. I had one burger <laughs> when we went down there uh for that Miami game or the bowl. Yeah, I didn't yeah, sure. have the right burger then. Oh, it was yeah. trash then. Yeah, that shit was trash. Okay. Question number 18. What are you too old to do but still do? Ah, oh, man. Well, you know, this is it depends on who looking at you. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm too old. I'm too old to be playing video games, but yeah. I'm still gonna play that motherfucker. Even if yeah. I'm 42, I'm gonna play video games. I'm gonna right. play 2K, 2K yeah. 40 something, you know what I'm saying? So whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a I'm gonna go ahead and continue to play my video games. Question number 19. Would you rather get two million cash right now or get 50% off the rest of your life on everything? Oh man, that's I mean, to keep it a bug. Oh, well, on everything, on every house, fucking car, clothes, whatever, hospital bill, whatever it may be, fifty percent off. I might. That's hard, man. Because if you get fifty percent off on a house, ah, you nah, saving that's, money. Nah, 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 you yeah. saving a whole bunch of money. But I will take that yeah. two million because yeah, eventually, too, man. man, you can you can make investments to you know up that. You know, double add and mm-hmm. triple it and quadruple it. And so I'll yeah. take the two million for sure. Question number 20. Uh if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Oh man. Um, what's that shit called? Um teleportation. If hey, okay, hey, okay. teleportation, man. I can just yeah. teleport, teleport to uh, Hawaii, teleport yeah. to Miami, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Teleport to, to Dre's nightclub whenever I want to. <laughs> you know, I don't I can be uh, on time to shit now. I don't gotta yeah. go through the traffic and shit like that. And so yeah. I think teleportation, man, e- either that or you know, being a flash. So but yeah. it's, it's it's a flip-flop. We'll see. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah. I mean you gotta get to places, man, traffic and shit. But uh mm-hmm. all right, so our final question, question number 21. We ran through 20 questions so far. It's the last one. I already know you, you know, you're a cheap guy, man. You know, a little bit. Real real, real frugal. You'll spend when you need to. I've I've been spending too much now. 21. What is one thing you would never spend your money on? Oh man, one thing I would never spend my money on. Yeah. Uh but that's a hard ass question because Lately, I've been spending my money on some bullshit, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, fuck, what, what, what would I spend my money on? Uh, like hookers. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but ain't no telling how that's going to go. So I can't even, yeah, say, yeah. can't even say that, but uh, <laughs> shit. Fuck, bro, I can't. I, uh, what would I never spend my money on? Fuck, I feel like I had an answer to this, but I can't even remember. Yeah. And that's a tough question. Like man. useless shit, like materialistic. Oh, right, I got one. Yeah. Hey, okay. You know, as, as a man, I'm going to get a uh, rated R on this motherfucker. I okay, would never okay, spend yeah. a, hey, I would never spend my money on a goddamn butt plug or a dildo. <laughs> 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 so, for your girl, hey, hey for, for her, yeah, we'll see. But hey, I'm for, saying like, let's go. Y'all, y'all, y'all going on the trip to Hawaii? Oh. I'm gonna get kinky. Like, damn, you're right. For her, I would. Yeah. Hi. You know what I what I thought of like just off the head. I thought you were going to say that I was like an OnlyFans, like spend mm-hmm. money on that kind of shit. Yeah, you know. I mean, they make money, so people buying it. You are absolutely right. Cause yeah. I, I, I that, you're right. There we go. Cause I would never yeah. spend my money on that bullshit. For one, yeah. you got porn that's free everywhere. <laughs> you got Pornhub. You got multiple. Uh, uh, what do you what do you call actresses? Porn actresses and shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if yeah. I, I'm cool on that OnlyFans. You got sixty dollars a month, thirty. Uh-huh. No. No. no, yeah, you know what I'm saying? shit sounds Never. crazy. The only subscription I'm paying for is cable and like these HBO Maxes and yeah, shit. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you got free porn on your on your phone, it, right? Why, why spend on the OnlyFans? You know, nigga, nigga we, we, we need to home. find the people. Yeah, we need to find the people, man, who who making this shit an illustrious career <laughs> or they making six figures. Who man. buying this shit? 
Hey, well above six figures though. Like yeah, well yeah. above yeah. that shit. Yeah. Yeah, only yeah, that, out, I'll never do that shit. Never. 